What's up everybody? Today I'm here to review this High Boy P6 electric fat bike. Okay, I know this is not a $15,000 fancy e-mountain bike, but hey, this is kind of the mountain bike or commuter bike that a lot of people can attain. Get him into riding, you know, get him commuting and doing some adventures. And this bike is $1,400. And since I've gotten it, it's always been on sale for around $1,050, $1,050. So, and the more, even without the price, the more I ride it, the more I kind of like it. So listen up and see what's up. Okay, so this is an electric assist fat bike, class three, goes to 28 miles an hour. And it has a Bafang motor, number one brand for commuters, 750 watts for that one, 80 Newton meters of torque, pretty torquey. And it's got a 625 watt hour battery right here. And a couple observations, so fat bike, fat tires, 26 inch by four inch tires. So you get some good suspension, good traction for this thing. And it's got kind of a nice package. As you can tell, the battery, the down tube is pretty sleek and it's all integrated. It's not some kind of bulky thing sticking out of there. And something you might not see, and I hope to take some pictures, is the handlebar, air <laughs> mountain bike handlebars. It's got about a 70 millimeter stem with full on 730, 740 with mountain bike handlebars. So pretty cool as you'll see as uh, we start testing it. The seat is very comfy, one of their own high boy. You know, for all, you don't need to wear chamois, those fancy padded pants. Has a fork and it has mechanical disc brakes. Packaging, I assembled it myself, half hour, it's well done. You know, some, some of these companies, you, it, it comes in, it comes in the shipping box all, all messed up already. So this is, they've taken care. Uh, these pedals were super stiff in the beginning, but they've broken in and they're, they're metal steel pedals. So, so good. Uh, the fact that it has, you know, standard seat post and stem and whatnot means you could kind of uh, fine tune it. If you're a mountain biker, you have all these parts sitting in the, uh, in the, uh, in the garage anyway. So mechanical disc brakes, as I said, also has a, a light, an LED light in the front and a horn. You got to hear that horn. I'll, uh, I'll test it for you guys at the end. Okay, so I'm going to give you a bunch of running footage. I had my Ace test driver come over and uh, see what this thing can do. And man, every time we rode it, it was like so much fun. So very quiet. The, it, it's a cadence sensor, so it's not a bottom bracket torque sensor. So it just comes after two or three revolutions. You know, not the best, but hey, for a commuter, it's good and five levels of assistance and when it comes on it assists all the way to 28 miles an hour it also has a throttle a twist throttle uh-huh uh, i think i like that uh, as opposed to the as opposed to the the thumb throttle uh, pretty easy to to handle on this one and it will go from zero to 28 miles an hour on the throttle assist or throttle only which is mind-blowing a lot of throttle only bikes they stop at 20. When you hit the brakes, oh big levers here, they will shut off the motor. So I'll give you some highlights, pros and cons. So the power is cool, you know, 750 watts with 80 newton meters, uh, re really quite good. So from zero to 28, I was just on throttle a couple tests and it just stops at 28, but it could go further than that. So it is a strong motor. And we started, you know, on one of those freeway uh, pedestrian bridges, so you kind of know that height, uh, kind of steep, uh, you know, no pedaling, just hit the throttle, it gets going and it picks up speed. So very cool power, uh, kind of addicting. So like I said, the cockpit is cool. If you're kind of a mountain biker or want to get used to that position, it's good. If you're like an elderly person, maybe not ideal. Some people, they like their stem up here and their bar is like right here. So, you know, that could be a downside if that's what you're looking for. But this is more like, you know, kind of a young man's young or middle-aged man's aggressive uh, position, but it's all adjustable as well. So like I said, the motor is quiet. You know, sometimes we're like, is it on or is it not on? And then when it's off, we can actually pedal with it. You know, it's pretty smooth, even with these fat tires. Pretty good tires on this one, 4.0. 
inch and it's got some protection uh, on it. You know, spring here in NorCal, a lot of flat tires. We've had no problem and we were all over the uh, side of the trail kind of situation testing this out. A couple other highlights is shifts well. Shifts well under power. Brakes pretty good, but man, this is essential. You got to brake in these brakes, meaning uh, with a motor on, grab the, the brakes full front rear for front first rear first or both of them about 10 to 20 times just to bed them in you know these are not hydraulic brakes so you need to break them in before you get out on your first rides all right and the final uh things i liked was the uh the fact that it had a horn i never see that you usually have a little bell uh integrated into the light so just one install no tail light on this and you know the this the sleek packaging you know fat bike they're always like big cumbersome ugly Beast, beastly things but this one you know they, they kind of try to play it up a little bit you know make it look kind of integrated cons i shouldn't be complaining about this because it's a bonus i don't see but it is pretty harsh and it's pointed right at you it's right here on the back so let's see <laughs> but you can't cover it you can put a piece of duct tape on it and mute it down okay but you know sometimes uh, i wish it was like a ding dang like your doorbell that way you uh you don't startle uh, pedestrians. Another con is uh, no integrated taillight. I think taillights are essential these days and feed them off that battery because you, you can get hit from behind. People, uh, cars can't judge, can't see you or can't judge how fast you're going. They'll try to cut you off and whatnot. Another con is the main control is your light and what's close to your thumb, your light and your horn. And I wish the, the plus minus assist button is was closer, you know, and the horn was beside it. So a little deeper prioritization there. And the final con I would say is the fork. The fork is just harsh. You know, when, I, when, I, when we did hit some bumps, it's undamped and it just bottoms out metal to metal. A lot of your suspension really is in the, the tire pressure. Make sure you just leave this at six to 10 PSI, depending on your, on your preference, but you can go really low. You don't have to put 20 or 30. So with that, you know, they could have done without the fork and, and maybe lower the price a little bit. One more con is hydraulic disc brakes would have been nice. This bike is so fast and so fun that you can get in trouble real fast. This is just that mechanical disc brake pushing one side. So if they had a Tektro uh, hydraulic brake on this, uh, rotors are pretty good size already. You know, they it would have just finished this thing off. But hi boy, you know, I, they contacted me. I was going to get an off-road scooter for them but they didn't have it in stock. So I go, oh, let me just get that fat bike looking thing. And you know, color me surprised. And the 1049, man, I would recommend this to all my neighbors and, and my friends who are looking for, you know, kind of a, a commuter, an adventure, kind of a beach fun bike situation. Is the motor on? <laughs> just say, be hard work it on. Ha, 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 ha.